What is up, guys? I am Brett Roach. Yes, I know, it's a funny name. And we... are doing some game dev stuff today. Right now, I am just animating one of my zombie characters for my upcoming uh, commercial release, Lethal Consumption, which will be on Steam and Xbox. I may go other platforms, but these are the two that it's going to hit first. And right now we are just doing some animation and spine. So there's that. Oh, what am I doing? Did I put that in the right spot? Let's undo that. I think I put that in the wrong spot. Getting distracted. <laughs> All right. Let's go in. So I'm just creating an extra skin. I really don't feel like going through and uh, creating a whole nother an uh, animation for this little guy. Because I have several zombies, well, four to be exact, that I've created just skins. But they all do the same thing as far as animation goes and coding wise. So I am just plugging in skins here for this one character that I've already set up animations for. And we are going to export it that way and pull it into Unity for our 2D platformer game. All right. All right, so we're just going to be doing a bit of this. So we're going to keep that the same. And I used Photoshop to create all of my artwork, if anybody was wondering. Probably not. You're probably like, this guy fucking sucks at making things. Terrible artwork. I agree. I'm not the best art designer. To be honest, I can't even draw on paper very well. So <laughs> this is actually a plus for me because, well, I'm not that good at drawing. As you may already know. I've been dreading, dreading doing all the animations and reskinning for this AI. I just do not feel like doing it over and over and over again. But here we are. So I figured this would be the perfect time to start recording and kind of begin something of showing my game 
kind of getting some advertisement going on, building on a community for the game, on a day that I dread, as far as work goes for the game. Okay, so, on left, let's create an escape. Just a lot of repetitive stuff going on right now. Finally. And if you guys aren't into this, um, you know, you don't have to like it. something I'm doing. I'm not expecting any likes or anything out of this. Just something to keep me occupied while I'm developing my game because it gets kind of boring sometimes and lonely. But if you do like it, Comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah. And I don't know, possibly tell your friends. Hell, who cares? I don't. I don't care. I really don't. Just something to kill the time while we're working here. I have put off doing this for a couple days now because I'm just dreading it. Because I've already done like three of these. Um, I'm just tired of doing it. Ready to move on to level two of my game and start designing that. We still have a couple things we need to do though before we get to that. Where are we at? Forearm right. Zombie skin four, forearm right. There it is. And these aren't actually zombies, it's just what I call them. Actually, just normal people, but in the game, they get really sick from the uh, radiation of the mutated vegetables and fruit. And when the fruits and vegetables attack, they attack the people and they get sick. So they'll be like, you'll see them in the game, they'll be like begging for help. And throwing up and it's just nasty. Nasty, nasty business. So we're going to turn off belt and gun because that's for the police officer. And our next one will be bottom. Bottom four. Because this is the fourth time I've done this. Let's see here. Yes, we do. We got some. I don't want it too loud because I got my audio up kind of loud. That way I don't have to talk extremely loud and be dramatic. Oh my gosh, 
was so tired today. 10 hour shift at work. And then I went to the armory and worked out with my sergeant. Oh, if you guys didn't know, I am in the National Guard. And yeah, went to the armory today and worked out. So pulled a 10 hour shift, worked out for about an hour. Came home, ate dinner, and now we're doing this. Played a little Black Ops 4 earlier to kill the time. And here we are. Jeff Wright. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Because sometimes you don't want to do things, but they're necessary. I know, I'm super lame. But that's alright. Because being super lame is apparently cool these days. Or at least from what I've seen. Where? Did I not? Yeah, shoe right. Okay, so I named it shoe instead of foot. It's whatevs. It's whatever, guys. I actually didn't change the pants or the uh, shoes on this character from the second zombie I did. Excuse me. So this is actually my first game I've ever developed. I've been working on this game for about a little over 10 months now. And it's been quite a process, to say the least. I have learned a lot. I still have a lot to learn. But hey, I feel comfortable enough now, or at least with what I'm currently doing, to be like, let's let's record some stuff. That way I don't look like a complete moron. I still probably look like a moron. You guys are probably like, why is he doing it this way? But you know what? That's fine. Because I'm learning. And maybe I can teach you guys something. Who knows? It? No, we have to create a next slot because for this AI, I did not attach the neck to the body or the head. I mean, um, so What do the teeth look like? Oh yeah, we did change the teeth out. So where's the head? Some of this stuff can get really disorganized. And you guys are probably like, this is a freaking mess and a nightmare to look at. And I agree. I agree. Moving along though, doing my thing. Don't follow what I'm doing. 
because I'm doing it in a very messy way right now. Okay, so I want it behind the torso. Good. Yeah. Looks good. About there. How's that look? I kind of want to move the head down. So let's go back to the head here. Let's move that down. Oh, oh. Move it right about there. Now let's change up the teeth. I want to maybe make a teeth saw too. And sometimes Unity runs really slow for me. I don't know if it's just my computer or what. I'm running on a Mac, so that's probably it. Who knows? Probably you guys. I think I have a different mouth too for this guy, if I'm not mistaken. Show me the mouth. Yes, we do. So we need to create a mouth slot as well. Mouth slot, mouth slot. Just doing some simple animation fixing. I don't even think I'm going to import it into Unity tonight. I'm just going to fix all the animations for this skin. And probably call it a night. Because it is 10.30 or 10.26 right now. And I have work at 5 in the morning, so i got to be up at 4. I am not a full-time developer, guys. I work two jobs, that being National Guard and full-time at a factory. I won't really get into what all I do in the factory because it's not interesting. But. are like this but I keep pushing through and I make the most of it looks decent all right now we got our skin all assembled let's get our animation it's probably a train wreck It doesn't look terrible on this one. The arm's a little out of place. Let's rotate it a little. I'm just listening to calming music right now, guys, because I. That experience makes you feel like your hair has its own block of music. Maybe you play sports. Maybe you play sports. So I've already made these animations with the police officer AI that I've created. 
believe I've already said that. So what we're doing is we're just reskinning the AI I've already animated and created. And it's keeping all the same animations. But some of this can get really sloppy because it's not exactly scaled the same. As you can see, like right here, the calf, the right calf and the right foot are kind of separated. So, I need to pull this calf up here like that, and this foot. Show me the foot bone. Right there. And I'm going to drag. This one actually doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised. The last couple reskins I did were completely off track and terrible. Now I do have a problem with this right calf kind of like staying up there. Fix that. No, I didn't want that one. I wanted this one. That's the problem. No, no, completely terrible. I want his arms to be a little more outward, though. Because we're kind of chasing after the player. So. We want him to be like, you know, help. So it's kind of those out more like he's reaching out to the player BT dubs these guys you can't get too close to them in the game because they throw up obviously as you've seen and their puke can obviously hurt so don't want to get too close to these guys. Otherwise, we will take damage. Okay, what the f what just happened? This is what I'm talking about, guys. Sometimes those things just do not work right. Sometimes things just do not go. The way you want them. I don't even usually do things this way. I've never reskinned a character until I got to these zombie AI. So I'm kind of dealing with figuring this out. I watched a video on it. 
but I think I did something a little differently than what they were doing. <laughs> All right, so let's find out where it kind of separates. So it begins separating here. with our game dev playlist. I like this song. It's still doing it. Can I find out where it's snapped? Extremely tired. I'm having a hard time focusing today, guys. This is why I said this is all I'm going to be doing today. I am just wore out. I can barely focus anymore today. I think if I were to do this full time, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't take me as long to develop this game. I, mean, I think I could have had it way further along by now. full time but unfortunately I have a wife I have kids I have to have an income oh my gosh it's just terrible it's just terrible we will get this fixed though Probably doesn't help that I'm listening to this very calming music. It's probably just making me more tired. And my shoulder needs to come back and down. That hand though. We will figure 
too bad. A little more. hand is snapping. Let's see where it snaps at. 25? I don't think so, girlfriend. Still kind of snapping because we're not completely... Let's take this, cut it, copy the first frame, and we're going to paste it at the end. That way when it transfers from the end to the beginning on the loop, it should be the same. There we go. Nice and smooth, guys. Nice and smooth. Check out my graph here. guys didn't know, the animation software I'm using is called Spine 2D. Actually, it's just Spine, but it's used for 2D animation. You can probably use it for several things, but the only thing that I know you can use it for is video games. Alright, so now that that's done, some key frame or some key events here. And these events will be used later on on the animation and spine for the code to input audio. So let's do footsteps. Footsteps, 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 footsteps. And I kind of noticed something at 15. This foot here. A little out of place. Yeah, we can actually bring the player down. Or the AI down some more. Undo that, go back to the beginning animation.
Visit any Pet Value store May 18th and 19th so we can celebrate you. Enjoy $5 dog washes, hot deals, free refreshments, giveaways, raffles, and double points on all purchases for Pet Points Plus members. All this and more is our way of saying thanks for being loyal Pet Value customers. Pet Value, your pet. All right. So our help will be... Event help. And then at the beginning, when I start the puke on five, we will create an event called puke. And again, guys, these are for sound effects we're going to use in our code later on. These kind of events in the animation loop, we will call upon functions in our code, uh, triggering these events that are connected to sound effects we are putting in our code later. It'll call those functions which are connected to the events accessing the uh, audio that we're calling from our code script for the AI. Alright, so that looks good. That's our tech. Did we do any events for this? No, we didn't. So right here we'll just trigger puke. And then we did the chase. Death. Let's see what that's like. Yep, the arms are all out of whack. Kind of hard to see. It shouldn't have made it black. So I do not want to get copy straight for this. So we are going to change the song. I don't even know how this got in here, to be honest with you. Is this in game dev? It is. So is that? I will have to edit that out later. Uh, let's see your hands up. to make the event of dead. 
Okay. Let's trigger it there. And then when it hits the ground, it'll create a land event. It'll be like a thud. Bam, bam, dead land, dead land. And at the beginning of this, let's just kind of move this down there. And up. Pretty good to me. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at the moment. That's harrowing. I probably didn't use it. Oh my, this looks like a mess. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is why I just was not wanting to work on this. Why I've been dreading it. Things like this. It's constantly moving everything back into place. But I tell you, it did not look like this when I first animated the initial. So obviously I didn't do something right, whether it be scaling or what have you. It looks like a fashion model. Look at me going down the runway strip. Black is too. Here we are going to put, actually, I'm going to swing his arms out. I'm going to Yeah, I like since they're like zombies, we don't want to prove you can swing like you just a normal person walking down the street. I kinda want them like flailing around. So where is my right hand going? So messy. this so we're gonna come down here again 
cut that first piece off, or the end of that off. Copy that in the beginning. We're going to get some sort of smooth transition. And it's still not perfect. So what we need to do Just painted his clothes black just to kind of get a quick crease skin of the bicep, forearms, and torso. This was the last one I did, and I just I was dreading it. I just did not feel like doing another grease skin. So I just made something quick, approachable. Tops. All right, so the same issue here with this right calf goes all the way up to the BFP. Just like that. I'm just going to grab the root here and bring it down a little more. There we go. Now we got some footsteps coming, guys. It's like kind of, it's like bouncing. And I think again. shoulder. Now you guys are probably understanding why I didn't really look forward to this. That looks more like a casual stroll through the park as a zombie. I kind of want his legs to flow out more though. I kind of want to let it go limp. He's got kind of weak legs. He's a freaking stylist guys all right back on topic I don't know why I just did that <clears throat> and yeah it kind of looks Crappy because I ended up making this AI in Photoshop at a low res. Silly me, mistakenly did it. Was already like two skins in and was like, well, I've already got this far, and it's at kind of a distance anyway, so you know, not too worried about it, honestly. 
because from a distance it looks good. So it'll be about this distance away. It don't look bad, but if up close, you know, it's kind of crappy. All right, so what was I doing here? So I kind of want to make this leg flow out. Now that I'm thinking about it, so we're gonna kind of give him like a like that. Again, I'm gonna, you know, I've done this like a million times, but. Let's we'll keep it like that. They don't look bad. Now let's key in the events for footstep sounds. We'll do a. We'll also do a uh, moaning sound. So you can't. Only, oh no, he's not feeling good. That'll be at the initial start of the animation. Step right there. Footstep. Awesome. I think that's all we have. Let's go over our all for one. I don't like where the mouth is. It's like right on his nose. Let's make sure we got that covered. There, fixed. Ooh. Ooh. Let's move it forward some. The eyebrows out of whack too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Like right. I guess it's not terrible, but the other eyebrow. Oh. My. Don't even get me started on eyebrows. It just looks really weird when it's moving. Alright, so what was I going to do? We got the attack, the chase, it's all done. The death, for when he gets killed, the patrol, just casually moving through life, you know. Life is a very sick guy. I think that is it. So we're going to go ahead and save this. The Spine Files. Okay, so we got Zombie Cop Spine, Zombie 2, Zombie 3. Let's go ahead and call this Zombie 4. I'm so creative with names, you guys. I'm actually just trying to keep it simple. Project Save a Zombie Spine 4. Now we're going to go ahead and export them. All of his animations. And that'll be in our zombie cop folder under our zombie four spine. Zombie four spine to unity folder. And make sure it's dot json dot text and at dot atlas dot text. Okay. Export this. Export bottom. Of slot that'll be yep. it. Let me hit those on purpose. Right. 
save zombie four, open project, set them back up. Good. Good stuff, you guys. Good stuff. All right, I think that wraps up the video today. Thank you guys for watching. If you did watch, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was kind of boring. And I'll be posting more videos. Hopefully more exciting videos for you guys. Alright, until next time.